just when you think things can't get any worse. Middle of the highway. T-bone on the state highway at seven o'clock at night. And you hear sweeping up hay off of the highway. Blocking traffic, using a buddy's telehandler. So what we do here, Everyone involved in the accident is okay. Our hay trailer is pretty damaged, but I think we can fix it. Uh, the other lady is okay. Her car might be totaled, but. Use buddies, Nelson Green, telehandler to push it in the ditch. DOT's here now, getting it piled up and they're gonna come load it up tomorrow. Hey, here we are in life throws you punches you oh yeah oh here it goes how it goes everybody's got a plan until they get punched in the face and then you gotta call some buddies and get some help <laughs> get words of wisdom from bucky Words of wisdom? Words of wisdom? Oh. There, how's that feel? I can really say. That's just. She's like, I don't know what to do. Dixie. Sit, sit down up there. Sit down. There you go. Sit. Come down. Come here. It's not very flat up there. It's all bumpy. Come here. No. Forklift operator. Certified. Put her paws up there again. Thumbnail. Please do. I had a neighbor had a farm sale today, he's retiring, and we didn't buy what we thought we were going to buy, but we got a Frisian seed tender. I feel like we got a pretty good deal. Yeah. Alright guys, so this is some new baling technology that has not yet been shown on the farm. So I got the 4450 out here. And this is what we call the bale buster. We built this last summer specifically for this 4450 because it's got the front blade mount. So this tractor normally we run a blade on it for snow removal and dirt work. And we thought, hmm. How could we utilize this for even more potential? And this is what we came up with. So all it does is move hay. You know, you can't load anything with it, but you just go underneath the bale and pick it right up. And the hydraulic lift lifts it plenty high off the ground. So it works really slick. So if we ever get in a time pinch and we need to get bales moved, we always got this as a backup. Derek's in the 7800 moving bales at a different farm. I decided to hook this thing up. Hadn't used it a lot yet this summer, but just get some bales moved. So it works really well. Right underneath there. And give her a lift. Just like that. So you can see it just it just sits on there. And I have never had a problem with the bale bouncing off or nothing. 13th gear going through a field, so it works. There it is. 
4450 moving bales. Had a good night of bale moving. Gonna start working on combine tomorrow. Haul some more hay. And uh, get ready for harvest there. Look at that beat, blackout plates. Who drives a six liter? Dang. This thing is mid. Uh, listen to that thing wind down. Extended cab. I'm going. Grant getting his combine. Oh yeah. You got a ride on the Thanks to the man family. Got a ride on the side by side. Oh yeah, these guys. <laughs> yeah. There's Spencer TV and his new to him. Mint, six liter power stroke, pulling the head. You know, water your grass real quick. <laughs> first generation farmer taking off in his first combine. Pretty cool. First, first generation farmer. Yep. He's gonna be all right. Oh, he'll be all right. They're smart kids. Had a, they're smart young men. <laughs> young it, men. They'll figure it out. We're all young men. He's got the AirPod in. They're gonna listen to some podcasts. Bitcoin. Yeah. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh no. His camera fell. It's all good. Off he goes. This is just the beginning. Someday Grant will be building bins like that. Wait, slow it up. Man is set. <laughs> All right, good luck guys, thanks. Adios. So now that we're done with what we're gonna do today, it's time to just sit in the shop and drink some beer. I wish. <laughs> hey, it's Bucky. Last time he cut the turn really close. I think he'll be good this time. Different approach, better approach this time. Oh yeah, it's still pretty close, but we made her. Look at that, the leg has begun.